And welcome into game night, the final night of the regular season of high school football. Top ranked Millard South trying to take a perfect record into the postseason. The Patriots playing seventh ranked Omaha Burke this evening. Husker commit Gage Stanger suited up after missing last week with a hamstring injury. Third quarter Oregon commit Devin Jackson getting the interception. The Bulldogs in business down 21 to 7 at that point. Ensuing Burke drive Cooper Katsky. Finding Trey Starks for the nice pickup of the Bulldogs drive would stall inside the red zone. Still in the third quarter, the Pats going to Christian Nash. Look at the tough running here, breaking tackles, picking up 45 yards on the play before eventually stepping out of bounds. Then later in the drive, fourth down for Millard South. Cam Kozel going to find Antrell Taylor for the 23-yard touchdown. Millard South goes on for the win, 35-13 to clinch the number one seed. Fourth ranked Creighton Prep playing ninth ranked Lincoln East this evening. The Junior J is trying to earn a district title of their own. Second quarter prep up seven. Jack Stessman, 11 yard touchdown run. One of his three touchdowns in the first half. 14 zip Junior J's later in the second. More from Prep. The punt partially blocked. Sam Rodino is Johnny on the spot recovering, taking it back for the touchdown. Creighton Prep crushes the Spartans 52 to 7. Third ranked Omaha Westside at Omaha Benson. The Warriors not messing around tonight. Third quarter Westside already up big. Jamez Ross going right up the middle. He'll take it to the house. It's 56 yards for the touchdown. Westside goes on for the win. 59 to nothing. Sixth ranked Gretna going down highway. 370 to face Papio this evening in the fourth quarter. Dragons up a touchdown until the Monarchs. Nick Chenez finding Tyson Mooney for the eight yard touchdown pass to cap off the drive. Tied at 20 at that point, less than a minute remaining. Zane Flores, the six yard touchdown run. That's your game winner. Gretna gets the victory 27 to 20. Fifth ranked Elkhorn South facing Lincoln Southeast. Huskers head coach Scott Frost checking in on some NU commits. First half, the Storms will scrat us up top to Blake Daly for the big gain inside Knights territory. Then a few plays later, Stratus keeping it himself for the touchdown as Elkhorn South goes on for the win. 21 to 10. Millard West, meanwhile, facing Lincoln Northeast. The 10th ranked Wildcats trying to avoid the upset in the Capital City. First half, Brody Peterson finding Jackson Williams a nice pitch and catch, putting Millard West in business. But the drive would stall later in the first half. The Wildcats chase Holtman. The nice run inside the Rockets' red zone. Holtman would score a few plays later. Millard West wins this one by a score of 38 to 7. Meanwhile, a top 10 matchup in Class B tonight featuring the last two state champs, 5th-ranked Elkhorn hosting 6th-ranked Omaha Scott Catholic. Let's head to the home of the Antlers for this one. The Elkhorn student section fired up on senior night. Second quarter, the Skyhawks. Caden Becker hooking up with James Sengstock. Pickup of 25 on the play. That would lead to a field goal to tie it up at 6. Ensuing Elkhorn possession now. Hayden Steck taking the handoff for the Antlers after he fakes me out. He's going to pick up 40 yards on the play, taking it down inside the Skyhawks red zone. Then a few plays later, Elkhorn going to Mikey Hart, capping it off with a two yard touchdown run. Antlers rolling this one 33 to 13. Class B number one, Bennington taking on Omaha Gross. Dylan Mostick trying to keep the Badgers perfect in the first quarter. It's Mostick running around the right end, picking up 35 yards on the play. Bennington in business. Then later in the drive on a fourth and 10 for the Badgers. Tyler Crawford going to find Caden Bloom for the touchdown. Bennington rolls by a score of 49 to 10. Class B number two, Plattsmith taking on Bellevue East. Senior night for the Blue Devils in the first. Plattsmith, Nate Kramer going to find Owen Prince, who weaves through the Bellevue East defenders for the 36 yard touchdown. That makes it six zip in favor of the Blue Devils. Jump ahead to the second quarter now. Bellevue East trying to come back. Quarterback Mikey Gow, the fade to William Richter for the score. But it's Plattsmouth coming away with the victory 48 to 14.